Welcome to another unboxing video. Well, unbagging video again. Um, today we're going to be looking at the other half of my recent purchase from Pendraken, the French 1812 uh, Moscow Army uh, NMFAP. Um, I, so we, this was bought in conjunction with the British Army. Um, we're just going to have a little bit of a look um, at what these look like. One thing that is interesting is on the website, it says image coming soon. So I have bought them blind. So um, image is going to be coming very soon because image is going to be coming here in a second. Okay, so the first pack we have is NMF1 and we have three of these again. So these are your infantry, um, your kind of center company or line. Um, so these are called line march attack. And we have three packs, 30 miniatures per pack. So that's 90 miniatures. And there's only one pose, but to be fair, there were two poses for the British, uh, and I did discover when I was painting some today or undercoating some that the difference was there wasn't a, a giant difference in the pose, but one had a squarish base and one had a roundish base, so I could actually identify them. Um, but yeah, I mean, th th there really isn't a lot of difference in the pose anyway, so uh, one pose, two pose, it doesn't really matter. All these guys are kind of marching. Um, I'm sure they're marching with a rifle over the other. I'm not a military guy, so I'm, I'm sure the British had it over the right shoulder and these have got it over the left shoulder. I don't know if that is a uh, a real thing or that's just a, a sculpting foible. I'm showing my ignorance of the era. Uh, so this is uh, Line March Attack NMF1. Um, we've got 90 of these, so this is going to form the vast majority of the miniatures in the army. We're going to base them on 40 mil by 20 mil bases and five per row and two rows per base. So there'll be 10 of these miniatures on uh, each base and we're probably gonna go four in a brigade or a battalion, I think they're called in this actual game system. So, um, or, and the fourth one might actually be a guards. I don't know, I don't know, we'll wait and see. But um, in order to get in square, we need four. So there's gonna be at least four in the battalion which is the name of a, a kind of brigade in this game okay so uh that's what we need to do we see this fella here give him a bit of a roll round oh we could always measure him couldn't we that would be a good thing to do so let's measure him up uh let me see he's up. Uh, there we go 10 mil 10 mil god's number so next up is NMF4, which is line command, 30 figures, 10 officers, 10 musicians, 10 standards. Um, so this is very similar to the English deal. Um, uh, let's have a little look here. So this is the standard. Nice little, um, I don't know what that's called on the top of a standard. Kind of crescenty motif thing here, the eagle or whatever it is. So that's very cool. The British ones didn't have those on. That's our standard. Then we have an officer. And we have, let's see if we can find a musician. Let's look at a drummer here. And these will be added to uh, one per battalion into uh, the center company to um, signify uh, the unit leader. I think it's pretty much like Kings of War, Black Powder, in that stuff's either on the table or it's not on the table. You don't suffer wounds. You don't like take bases off. It's either fighting, uh, disordered or gone. Okay, so this is our little drummer. Hopefully he's gonna help us well, I don't, he's not going to help me, is he? I hope he's going to help keep Paul in the game. But if it was left to me, they could all run away now. Just give me the game before we start. Three two one so next is nmf5 
sorry, NMF5. Yeah, that's NMF5. And these are Line Grenadier March Attack. 27 foot, one officer, one musician, one standard. So I'm not sure whether we're going to use these, these Grenadiers. Um, because these come in 30s. I'm pretty sure the, the British flank came in 16s. So these will be, uh, you could use them as an entire battalion by putting them in three units, or you could add one stand uh, with 10 miniatures on the end of your centre companies to, yeah, to, to make them more historically accurate. Uh, them. I think these guys went, the Grenadiers went on the right hand side, right flank, and the light, went, light infantry or skirmisher types went on the left flank. Another nice, another nice standard bearer here. And what else are we looking for here? One officer, one musician. Maybe they're going to the officer and musician. They're going to be the same as came in the officer and musician pack. Yeah, the, the drummer looks like the drummer. And then we have twenty-seven of these fellows. Uh, I think he's got his rifle over his right shoulder, hasn't he? Maybe it's to signify they're um, harder. They carry it over the other shoulder. Okay, so that's the um, French Grenadiers. Next one is NMF9, and these are, oh my God, I don't speak no French, Cheval Ligueurs. Uh, like uh, the lighter version of the cavalry I think I think the dragoons are the heavier cavalry so the the lighter of the two cavalries uh, we don't appear to have any skirmishers so uh -huh. that'd be an advantage for the British because even though we've got less uh, grenadiers we do have some rifles so that, that'll be interesting so now we're going to look through here we've got a, a standard and we've got a, probably a musician and uh, an officer and 12 troopers. So, so I've dug out the different miniatures for the Cheval Ligueurs. Um, this is the regular trooper model. He's got some kind of scarf waving off his lance. So you get 12 of these fellas. We have, this is the standard. So obviously one standard bearer they're going to be these fellows are going to be on 40 by 20s again five per stand and with the musician and and stuff signifying that the kind of center of the battalion this is our i think that's our yeah that's the officer and this one here must be a musician. I guess he's a bugler. Yeah, you can see the bugle there. Next up is NMF10, which is Guns Limber Horses Crew 2. Pack contains two guns, two carriages, two barrels, four wheels, eight crew, two limbers, four wheels, eight horses. Okay. <laughs> Two carriages, two barrels, four wheels, eight crew, two limbers, four wheels, eight horses. Right, okay, let's dip out and have a look. So we have in total, do, 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 eight horses. Eight, and these are the horses. And you gotta remember, this pack is only five pounds fifty for all this, all this crazy stuff here. So we have eight of these, these fine nags. Um, we have two barrels for our guns, which are these fellas here. Doesn't say what size they are, and uh, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to be able to identify it just from looking at it. Then we have four wheels, so we got a lot of wheels in total. Stock wheels, I think they're the same as the British wheels, can't really see any difference. But a wheel's a wheel, and it'll look very fine painted up. So we have eight wheels in total, eight crew, there are four different crew. So this is one of the crew here. He's got um, one of these big poles, which used to have like wet rag on the end. To, so after the cannon had shot, you could stick that down there and cool the barrel and also clean out all the rubbish that was left. So we've got two of those fellas, two of these fellas. Uh, 
What's this guy doing? Is he just pointing with some kind of like a baton? Maybe he's a marshal saying, "Hey, shoot this way! Shoot this way!" Then we have here the two of this guy loading a cannonball. I mean, this this pose is as old as anything, isn't it? The guy carrying a cannonball. And what have we got a guy here. Can't quite tell what this guy's got. He's either got a, maybe it's another device for lighting it, like a long fuse or something. Okay, so we've got two of those, and then um, we've got the limbers, um, and uh, so we've got then the carriages. So this is for when the cannon is shooting i guess oh no this is when the cannon's being pulled along and this here maybe is for when the cannon's shooting or maybe it's the other way around i'll never get to know until we play the game because i'm not building this stuff so it's all down to paul and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be waterloo without napoleon uh to fight wellington so we got a napoleon figure here to go with Paul's army and that's NPF 37 75 hole pence for this fine sculpt produced in metal and then we have NPF 38 which is Ney the crazy red-haired Ney who knows no fear so I guess he's going to be the second in command for Paul's army Good stuff. And finally, we've got a set of Napoleonic 1815 flags designed by Tony Hughes. Um, yeah, because I mean, I think they're only two or three quid, and why not? Why not, indeed? It'll make the army look much better having some nice painted flags. Um, I guess we'll just PVA them into place. So, yeah, that was the army. Um, so as, as I said with the other army, it cost 40 quid in total, including the, the, the army pack, the flags and the two characters um, split two ways, including postage and stuff to the UK. So and I'm really looking forward to it. I've, I've even painted today. I've even almost finished off my light company, the rifles. I think I said the um, East Essex rifles, of course, they're not called the East Essex rifles. My bad. Uh, but now they're just called the rifles in the in the modern day army. So, my bad for not knowing the correct name. So, thank you for watching and um, see you over the table one day, hopefully.